guys, this is OLC321 Fantastic Plastic with an, another model kit build. So, I've done the unboxing of this Mortarhead a uh, couple of days ago, and the video should be uploaded now. But we need to do a parts count list check thingy my bobby and i'm just going to very quickly show you how to do it then i'm going to pause it and continue on what basically um continue on and and go from there so what you're going to need is marker obviously just in case you didn't realize and i'm going to take just one of these these bags just put that over there and put that out of the way and just unfold said thing in my bobby. There we go. And I'm just going to lay these out so I can see what's what. Actually, let's just plonk them on there. Okay, move that out of the way. Um, actually, I'm going to move my keyboard. There we go. Just hold the keyboard down there. There we go. So just lay these out. There we go. We should have two of those. And two of those. Two of those. Two of those. Right. So we just go on to our part sheet. So got one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four of those. And down here are these two parts. So it's that one and that one. But then we've also got these two there. So it's them and that. So basically all I'm doing is marking off what I have. And two of these, which are just here, there, and there with the, the marker pen. And then these two here, which is that one and that one. Okay. So I know that so far, all of that is correct. Okay. So I'm going to pause. I'm going to continue checking off everything, making sure I've got everything here. And I will bring you guys back in a minute. Right. Okay, guys. I am now back. As you can see, I've got them all, all out. I've counted them all out, and there is one missing. There is one missing, and that's that part there, which is their part 61, which I believe just goes on to the part of the waste unit. At least that's what I'm hoping. I'm just current, currently looking at this here to try and find that particular part. But this is the original parts check sheet, but I can't find it on here. I cannot find it on here whatsoever. So it, it may not necessarily need it. At least that's what I am hoping because I can't, haven't seen it on any of these bits yet. Um, yeah, oh, wait, no, 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 I think, right, so that's, okay, this is going to be fun, um, Part three and two. It's a shame that the um, instructions are not very clear. Um, one, two, and three. That's the head. It just, it's a shame their part, the E twenty forty six parts list, doesn't match up to this parts list with a E, I E as in the numbers. Um, so if we go by looking at this part list, um, we got the top of the leg thighs, 
just there. So we're going to put a dot there and a dot there. We've got the calves just there. Ankle bones, ankle bone things, which are these just here. Um, we've got the head just there. I've got the body just there. We've got the the chest. Sorry, the body is there. Waist is there. Ten and eleven. Uh, funny looking things. Where are ten and eleven? Is that you guys? No, that's not you. You're down here. There we got that back piece. We got four of those. One, two, three, four. Two pandies, yes, two hands. We've got two of those pieces which are over there. Um, where are you? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, no, that's these two there. So what are these? These must be... Oh, oh, they're just there. Okay. Right. So then we've got... These parts, these two there. Which I believe... Is these. Then we've got... Two of those, we've got two of those, two of this, which is these just there, and two of those, two of those, two of these, two of these hooky things, these are for the feet. Um, what's that? Not too sure what that is. Uh, let's do all the bits that I can see. So we've got those there, we've got those there and there. We've got that. We've got the bottom of the feet. Top of the feet. Where's the top of the feet gone? Top of the feet. And right, there they are. That's those there. Then we do have these parts there. Two of the shoulder pieces go there. So, no, these two are there. There's a, that one. Two little things there. And I don't think this is showing the whole parts list here either. Oh, unless that's. That could be these. Forty-one times so forty-one. So if I go to the arm, yes. Yeah, so that's part forty-one. So there's the the two arm pieces that are there. Forty-two, which looks like these. Yep, that's them there. And that forty. Which is these here, and forty five which are those, and go to there for four. Those two things are them, and M thirty four. 
AB, which could be that there, which is that little tiny thing there. So according to Wave, I do have everything here. So I might, I might have everything. I'm sorry you were sitting through all that, but this is why you, you would have to check these things. I've got, ev wait a minute now, I've got a little tiny, tiny bits here, which is that, that's that little tiny, teeny tiny, so that's what, M5 and 3, I don't know what that appears, so let's have a look at the, M5, yeah, so M5 is that little teeny tiny bit there. And number three is this here. So, yep, so we've got that and that. Number two, where's number two go? Uh, and number two looks like some kind of neck piece. Um, which up, which is right here, which is there, the eyes, there we go, that's it, that's what it was talking about, that's number two is the eyes, so, according to Wave's instructions, I have everything here to build this kit, why there is that extra piece on there, I don't know, but this is why it's always good to have the, if you're using like a recasters, you know, double check their parts of this, but then also try and double check it off from what we've got on, on here. So then we know exactly what is, is what, basically. So what I'm going to do now is get everything sorted out into body parts and, and areas and things like that and put them in individual little baggies now the baggies I'm going to be using are obviously quite big because I've used them before which is going to be this these um, Avon bags are absolutely brilliant and we are first off we're going to be going I'll do one so Get a baggy. We are going to call it right on it body. Because this then is everything that's going to be part of the body is going to go into here. Right. So let's just put that there so I can just shove them in. And we're going to want obviously that part. In we go. I'm going to put the torso unit in as well because that's part of the one. I'm not going to do the waist, the waist is going to be separate. Then I'm going to do that piece there and that piece there, but it also uses these two little spiky things. So I am just going to. carefully cut there now what I'm going to do with these spiky things these spiky things where do I put them there you go these spiky things according to the instructions sit up inside here just up there I'm not going to do that I'm going to have like thin wire trailing down attached to these and just hang, hang with them dangling down that's what I'm going to do with with those Right, what else is there? And then we've got these these parts here are also part of the body. And which these these two are part of the body. And then we've got these two as well. And then we've got these. These are part of the body. 
go in there, go in there. Oh, and these go on the top of those bits. Okay. <clears throat> and then we've got two back end pieces, which are these. These go on the back of it, of the body. And what part is that? Part number 28. So we just got to look for part number 28. Which looks like these here. So that don't look quite right. Because that says that glues on on the top. Because that's part 47. Let me get the body out. So I want to make sure I'm do, putting the right parts in here. Let's have a look. See, this is why resin is so is a little bit more difficult than just a normal everyday resin kit. So that can't be that. Is it these? No, it doesn't look like it is that either. That doesn't. That don't seem to fit there. Okay, this is fun. It's like a, oh wait a minute. Could it be these? Could very well be actually. Yes, I think. I think it is this. How it goes on. I don't know yet. <laughs> but yeah, I think that. Wait, have I got the body up the right way around though? Still, yes, I have, yeah. So, looking at the instructions, I, I don't understand what any of this says, but if I look at the instructions, it's saying to glue that onto there like that. So, yeah. Yeah, so it's going to go on. I don't know if you can see that there, but kind of like that. So these two are going in as well. So there we go. That's the body done. So I now know everything in this little baggie is everything I'm going to need for the body. Okay. So I'm going to continue on with the rest of it. And I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, I am now back. As you can see, I've now got these all sorted out in kind of order. I've got my body sections here, I've got the leg sections here, got the shoulder section, got the arms, got the waist, got the head and the sword in, in the one bag. So that's everything. According to the list, according to the instructions here, that I am going to need to make this kit. Yes, everything. So, but first, because this video is not only been like 19 minutes, I'm going to just, just go very quickly on how to cut resin pieces and, and clean them up and things like that. Um, and to do that, I'm, I am going to use one of these shoulder pieces. So let me just put these out of the way. Um, actually, no. I'll use I'll use one of these leg pieces here. Actually, thinking about it, right. So let's grab one of these big giant leg pieces, which is just here. Now, ideally, what you want to do is give it. A, obviously, these are going to be washed first, 
Um, but I don't like washing them until after I've cleaned up all the nubs and everything like that because you're going to be sanding. And if you're going to be sanding, you want to be able to get rid of the dust as well. So one of the first things you're going to do, you've got like a pore mark. If I can just get that, you can see that right there. We need to get rid of that. Okay, and to do that, the, the easiest thing to do would be to just to go straight across the, the top and snip it. Don't do that. Okay, do not do that. What you want to do is go at an angle, cut a piece off, go at the other angle, cut a piece off, and keep going, cutting small pieces off. Until then, you're able cut off the rest of this nasty piece that's on there. Now, and just a little bit there, and one more there. So, that's that bit done, but there's still a little piece on there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my marker, and I'm just going to colour in Just there with my with my marker. Basically, what I need to sand down. So what I will do once I get these other pieces here that's flat. Once the this main piece here is nice and flat, then I know it's done. So I'm going to get a sanding stick if I can remember where I put them. Here we go. This will do. At first, you want a quite a, 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 a night of one that's quite um, edgy, not edgy, but it's quite rough. And you'll just keep on sanding this down. Now, be another thing to be careful of: sometimes resin, you don't want to breathe the dust in. So make sure you're in a well ventilated area. And what we want to do, we want to get sand this down until this red part here is gone. That is a bit too big. I can't quite get into it. That's 3,000 grit. Don't worry. Let's get a... Different, a bit slightly... Where are you? There you are. You'll do we're going to be using these, all of these sandpapers anyway. So let's just cut some of this down. This is 800 grit now. Okay. And I'm just going to fold it over a couple of times. And just sand it down. until it all becomes nice and smooth. This is the fun part of, of resin kits. We're getting there slowly but surely, but we are getting there. Now, I don't know if you can see, but right, let's get 
we are nearly there. You can see this part down the bottom here is already there. We just still need to focus on the other bit here. Then we will know that this is all now nice and smooth and at the, the correct level it should be. Just uh, get a new piece here. And that is quite good. If I rub my food on there, there's hard, there's no lip there anymore. So that, I would say, is a success. Now, <clears throat> obviously, this is going to now be washed, but I've got to do this with every single piece. <sighs> yes. Every single piece is going to have a wash. Then I'm going to put a very thin coat of grey primer on. So I can see if there's going to be any marks or nudges or ridges or anything like that. And I already know on this piece, if it's going to focus, right there. Can you see where that little line is there? That needs to be sanded off. That needs to be sanded off straight because that is a mold line that we don't want. And it actually goes down. Um, I've got some dusty fingers here, so... You can see well that you can see that mold line right there. Okay, now we, you wouldn't be able, wouldn't be seeing that normally, but with a, a layer of primer on, then you can, and you'll be able to see all the imperfections that you we need to fix and everything like that. Also, putting a layer of primer on, it will be able to see roughly where we need to finish off or improve with the um like if we go on here see that panel line just there it's kind of stops there but it actually should go further down like that side and the same up there that goes we go that goes all the way up over there but on this side you can barely notice it so just a little tiny rescribe of these panel lines will give it a little bit more definition so there you go that's a very the the, fir the first part anyway of this of this kit is just getting things sorted out getting your parts sorted out getting them into either bags or into different compartments or anything like that that you can use excuse me to store them in and the next episode will be these are going to get washed in warm soapy water, not hot soapy water, warm soapy water. Let them soak for a little bit. Give them a scrub with a, an, an old toothbrush. Let them dry overnight. And then um, it's ready for part two of the video, which will be giving them a prime, seeing where or any mistakes are going to be needed to fix. And then hopefully <clears throat> we'll get on to, actually, no. After we wash up, we're going to go on to pinning. Yes. So the next video will be pinning these models so that we will be able to stick it all together. And I will show you how to do that in the next video. So, guys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. So you take care of yourselves. Goodbye now.